Welcome to part three of Final Fantasy 15. In case you're wondering why Gladio looked like he was just set on fire, well, he kind of was thanks to Unicast. Well, you see, in this game, not only do your friends complain when you inadvertently swing your weapons at them, but if they happen to be in the path of your magic spells, they'll have some visual damage on them. It'll eventually go away, but at the same time, they will actually take damage Feels from so the magic spells. Indeed. Yes, even you could take damage from your own magic spells. This is the first game that actually does this while not grinding up for ability points. I have to stop myself there because Final Fantasy II did that as well. So we're heading back over to the Hammerhead so we can finally get our beloved car, the Regalia, because let's face it, folks, I'd rather cruise than walk. This game is a really massive map, and some videos show that it's not even complete. But it's not without its dangers, its hazards, and its wonder. Speaking of hazards, one's about to show up right now. It's rude to keep a girl waiting. You better apologize. Uh, uh, what is that? A live hurricane. That thing's like half bird, half storm, half airship. You realize that's three halves. That would explain its size. <laughs> awesome in every sense. In case you're wondering, yes, we will have to kill it. There'll be a hunt request for it. Trust me, it'll be well worth the kill because Ignis will also make recipes out of fallen fiends, specifically that one too. So don't be surprised if you happen to see Ignis all of a sudden saying, that's it, I've come up with a new recipe every time you kill off a new fiend. That's why I start off with new game instead of new game plus because you won't be hearing that as much in New Game Plus. You'll have all the recipes by that time. Speaking of which, we'll have to stop over by uh, Taka's Blessed place weather. because yeah. we're going to be picking up some hunts. Whatever the case, now that we're back at Hammerhead, we can now talk to Cindy and we can get our regalia back. But not without one minor detail. Yeah, that's right. We're gonna have to continue the plot. Plot quest to be Let's precise. Go shopping. Sounds reasonable. Things enough. are also a little bit different here. Not only can you buy weapons from that supply van there, us? but you have sit to craft weapons. I'll explain later. As soon as I talk to Cindy. But first, shiny. Make sure you pick up shiny objects off the ground. Because there could be really important things. Things for your car, things to sell, and mostly items to have around. So now, let's talk to Cindy. Sorry about the wait. Ain't she pretty? She's almost too pretty for the road. She's back. We should all get a picture with her. All the more reason to ride with care. Oh, and before I forget, would y'all mind making a little delivery for me? No, not at all. Perfect. Thought you'd say yes. So I already put it in the trunk. There should be a motel on your way to Galden. If y'all wouldn't mind giving that to the owner, that'd be swell. Grandpa like grandkid. Now that she's all polished up and ready for the road, would you care to take her for a little test drive, Noct? Sure, why not? And I needn't remind you to exercise caution. Now, that choice is for whether you want to take the wheel or Ignis should keep driving. 
whatever the case, you'll be able to hop in the wheel of the regalia, but mostly at night time. Really, do you want to have Noctis drive? The man oh, can't drive oh, or uh, shit. Yeah, what can I do you for? Whatever the case, folks, we're here at Taka's Bar. These nasty and there are also hunts rear. here. This is where you're going to be taking all of your hunts. Well, oh, the low-level hunts. There'll you be other bars bunch. where you can pick up hunts as well. And your rank will increase depending Yo, on how many stars the hunts are. Also, I think it would be a wise idea for you to also check out all the restaurants and eat their food huh. because Ignis will jot down the recipe for the restaurant's items that will also open up some ingredients for you to buy in your car. Speaking of buying, again, go over to Cutlass Take a look and... At our wares. Or Cullis, or whatever the hell you want to call that shop, and just pick up any weapon you need. I mean, Pleasure doing business. it would be a good idea to stock up on some brand new weapons now because later on, um, if you have like weaker weapons and you haven't been buying weapons, it's gonna bite you in the ass. I know firsthand because I actually foolishly did that in my playthrough. So whatever the case, I'm going to go on ahead and equip some new weapons to not only myself because that engine blade it's not at the part of it being upgraded yet. Again, I mentioned that about Sid. He does upgrade your weapons. However, you will need to uh, go to a certain part before he start that. And even then, you'll need like certain items picked off of the ground in order for you to upgrade your weapons. Now this hunt in particular is out here in the Weaver Wilds. Hammerhead is like no garage ever. All you have to do is just you know, follow the one would expect no GPS. Less of the veils to the crown. Ah, <sighs> I'll miss but it of course, once this road while trip's you're doing over that, with. You'll end up being attacked by monsters no reason you can't on the way over there. Anytime you please. I'm sure Cindy will be glad to look after your this car. This is technically oh, the right. first so, actual hunt for Taka. But need, this is definitely a mandatory huh. thing. I if you offer, want, like, a special bonus near the, the end of the game, or should I say, after I the game is beaten, and it starts unlocking all the extra hunts. Yeah. Now, if you haven't noticed, uh, not only did I just get myself, uh, attacked, but I just dropped a fire spell here. Noctis is being burned by a or should I say that wasn't me, that was rather Ignis that dropped a fire spell, and Noctis is being burned by that fire spell, and so is everybody else. Meaning, dropping magics is a bad thing, as well as a good thing. It's a good thing because you kill your enemies, it's a bad thing because you're going to suffer the effects of being paralyzed, frozen, burned, and oh god, the magics actually adhere to the elements. On a blazing day like this, by the way, we just eliminated our first hunt. On a blazing day like this, if you throw fire, it's going to do double damage. In the water, if you throw ice, you're going to be stuck. But in water and on a rainy day, you throw lightning. Well, that would be the biggest derp move you could ever possibly do because it's double the damage. I like the game's attention to detail, really. And, oh, it looks like all of uh, the effects for Ignis' cooking last night is actually wearing off, so I'm gonna have to buy some new food. Right after I get the reward for that hunt we just recently took on. So, let's talk to Taka. You boys eating of your course, kill? After we claim this hunt, nice work out there. we get ourselves a star. And right now, the star level is only f like five. There'll be like certain levels where the star level is seven, what can I do you for? or six, or even two or three. I think the Boy, maximum star moments. level is 16, if I'm not mistaken. Or was it? 
Oh, it was his 15. I'm not sure. I don't remember. But I think something happened where the uh, thing just skipped. And I took on another hunt. Better make I'm tracks. going the wrong way, am I? Yeah, I'm going the wrong way. I took on another hunt. And I do believe the uh, game just jumped frames. But I did take the second hunt, which was... These uh, antelope-looking creatures, I forgot their names. They'll probably pop into my head when I actually see them. And I also did not buy any food. Because, yeah, it's looking like the buffs are about to wear off pretty soon. They only last for about a day until you open up the Ascension oh, chart. Nice then they'll last for two. Indeed. Or until you eat another meal. Now then, you also happen to notice the trailer park that was passed there. That trailer park is practically an inn, if you will. Oh, sorry. And that's my cat in the background. And just like all the camping havens, trailer parks or inns in general are pretty much your uh, guide, well, well, your only way to actually get an experience points. That's what I meant to say. Specifically ends because there's certain ends, especially one in Golden Key, that'll give you really big bonuses. But right now, the task at hand. These spiral corns, or uh, separate corns, or whatever the hell they're called, they're pretty darn tough for something my level. They are level 7, after all. And man, do they hurt if you do not block. Chop, chop. How about this? Blindside attacks work wonders for them. But, whatever the case, me using lightning on these things actually worked wonders. But that didn't work wonders. I should have blocked. I honestly God should have blocked. I think I only got one of them. Oh. This one's just and possibly using asked. your friend's text will actually increase the level of the tech. And by the way, screw that. I can't believe I left the perimeter. That tends to happen a lot. And it can be really annoying. But whatever the case. Once you knock out it all of these enemies, then you'll be able to get the uh, actual rating for that. But, as I was saying, if you keep using your friend's skills, their skills will pretty much increase to where they're pretty darn powerful and cause critical hits. And I'm in stasis again. Sorry if I sound like I'm repeating myself, but if anything else, the more hits you delve in until you actually unlock getting the faster tech in the um, ascension chart, the higher your tech meter will be. So you'll be able to pull off stuff like that. And how in the hell did I get a triple A? How? That's that's bullshit. You all saw me getting kicked around and getting put in stasis and shit. Oh well, it happens. Whatever the case, we're going back to um, Hammerhead one last time, and we're gonna actually end it there because we basically did a lot in three parts, to be honest. Well, Beautiful I wouldn't day. register like Indeed. a couple of main story side quests and two hunts a lot. But, that's much to what we could do at our current level. But, um, but I almost forgot to mention one thing about the ends. It would be in your best interest to have money on hand because the end, the trailer park ends, they're not as expensive as the actual ends in town, specifically Golden Key. Golden Key is about $10,000. 10,000 gil, sorry. And trust me, I'll actually explain more when we get there. And 
But I will say this, Golden Key is basically one of the things that will, is one of the places that is used for the experience farming. Also, I passed up a Chocobo day. station. Not we'll cross that road when we get there too. But for right now, let's talk to Taka and get ourselves another star to hopefully get further into raising our level. Because once we raise our level, we'll be able to start taking on tougher quests with more money. And that actually netted us a couple of high elixirs. That's pretty cool. Notice that That's you don't ID. see ethers anywhere. But of course. And I think we pretty much lost our buffs, so we might as well eat something better. And I was hoping you that uh, Ignis would have jotted that down, but bon unfortunately, there's an improved version of that that Ignis will actually take the recipe for. So. I took that, and that will Bad pretty much Good. help me out for the time being. And oh, mm. it's almost like the end of the day. Mm. Nice. Well, and it's not really nice. It's actually kind of going by fast. So whatever the case, I might as well just save this here so that I won't lose track of everything I've done. And I'm practically going to call this a game. This is more like a session by session thing because there was a limited amount of space. But nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, we are done here. I'll see you guys in part four when we proceed with plot. This is Man 985 signing out. And my title card is cool.